So this is my first aid kit. This is for short hikes, remember? So it's really a boo-boo kit. And uh, this is VanQuest. This is the 4x6 uh, first aid kit. They make a 4x6, a 5x8, and a 7x10. They have a first generation and a second generation. This is in the first generation. So this is one of the older uh, pouches. The newer ones have made some nice improvements, but I thought that this was good enough for my purposes. So if you just look at the outside, you see you have a place to put a patch. I have a red cross here. The patch does not come with the pouch. You have to purchase that separately. I think this is, uh, I got this from LA Police Gear, if I remember right. Uh, <clears throat> you've got little Molly on the side with these keepers. Now they put one keeper on each side. I just happened to put both of them on one side. On the other side I have a pair of these shears. These I got in another first aid kit a while ago. But these are fine. And then you're supposed to be able to just rip this thing down to open it. So let's see what we have inside. Uh, in the front here I have some duct tape. I have an ace bandage. Again, you know, what other things that can happen on a short hike? You can twist your ankle. So that's what the uh, ace bandage is for. Uh, worst case scenario, somebody stops blip breathing. <laughs> this is a CPR mask. I'm trained in CPR. I'm also, I also have some minor training in first aid. Uh, I get it at work, it's free. If you have the opportunity at work, take it. The, uh, the CPR training was one night, three hours. I could be certified if I wanted to be. I just didn't feel like paying the extra 50 bucks or whatever it was. Uh, first day training was a different night. Tweezers. Somebody gets stung by a bee or other nasty insect, you want to remove the stinger. That's what the tweezers are for. Pills. Now, learning to be prepared, Jeremy, he did a whole video on this little pill box. This is a really neat little box. It's got many different compartments. You can see that you've got one, two, three, four compartments here to put different types of uh, pills. And in here you've got this bigger space. And then you have an, another four individual, uh, three individual compartments to put something else. So what do I have in here? I haven't used all the space, but I have some Advil and some Imodium. If you get diarrhea, that's what the Imodium is for. Uh, Tums for an upset stomach. Uh, Advil naturally for minor pain. And this is for uh, insect bites. So let's say somebody got stung by a bee or a wasp. First thing you do is you get the tweezer and you remove the stinger and then you apply this. It's a liquid. This is a little made of paper, this container, so you would just squeeze it or break it open. <clears throat> what else? Safety pin. Safety pin is there to use in conjunction with the ace bandage because you got to be able to uh, get the ace bandage to close. You would use a safety pin for that. Probably should have another one or two safety pins. I'll have to make a note to do something about that. A 
Visine. How annoying is it when you get something in your eye and you want to wash it out? Visine. Gloves. These are nitrile gloves. I keep them in a sandwich bag right, so that they're somewhat sanitary. Because if you just leave these things in here, they, it's, you know, it's gross. So uh, I think there's three or four pairs of gloves in this bag. <coughs> Bandages. These are two by twos. A few of them here. Gauze. Back here, different types of uh, ointments, triple antibiotic ointment, uh, burn cream, burn gel, uh, alcohol wipes, a few of them different size band-aids from very small to larger size band-aids here's some more alcohol wipes and moleskin one of the uh, problems you get while hiking is a blister so you would just uh, cut off a piece of this moleskin and apply it to where the blister is developing and uh, should lessen the uh, effects of the blister. So that's it for the first day. Oh, one more thing. I found this stick. Looks like a tongue depressor or... I don't even remember where I found it. I found it in the house somewhere. And I thought this would make a, a good splint. Uh, someone broke a finger or something like that. Uh, you know, again, just temporary. Put it on the finger with some duct tape, and uh, that could be a temporary type of splint. So that's it for the first aid kit. Now we'll go on to the second kit, which is the personal items. So this pouch is something that I use to carry uh, small personal items. And I don't have this uh, fully loaded out yet, but uh, uh, this is the VanQuest PPM Husky. PPM stands for Personal Pocket Maximizer. It comes in two sizes, slim and husky, husky being the larger size. I have a patch on here. This is from The Art of Manliness, which is a podcast if you've... Uh, not listen to it. It's pretty interesting, pretty good. Again, VanQuest made of the same materials as the packs, the Cordura nylon, the YKK zippers, all of that good stuff. Uh, nice handle on the top. Uh, webbing, so if you wanted to, you could attach it to uh, a pack. Uh, you have more webbing down here, although I don't know what you would do with that. It's kind of small. But anyhow, here's the uh, here's what I have in here. Uh, notice again, I don't have it fully uh, fully decked out. But uh, I have some uh, lip balm. Uh, in another video I talked about this. This is Labello Classic Lip Balm. This is the most fantastic lip balm. I've got some hand sanitizer in the form of wipes. It's Purell, but they're wipes. I also carry a bottle of Purell. That takes care of that side. On this side, I have another bottle of Visine. Why I have that, I don't know. I'm going to take it out. 
doesn't belong. I already have one in the first aid kit, so let's forget that. Uh, some nail clippers. Isn't it annoying when you get a hangnail? Right? And all day long, no matter what you do with it, it never feels right. Don't you just wish you had a clipper and be able to be done with it? Dental floss. Tissues. I always have a runny nose for some reason. I think I'm allergic to everything. So I'm constantly blowing my nose. I need tissues. Uh, there's a key keeper in here. I don't use it for anything. Um, but I have to figure out some other uses for this. I don't have this fully packed out. This is very nice. Those are the personal items I carry with me. In this pouch I carry my electronics and admin items. This is another VanQuest pouch. This is called the FTIM F -T -I -M, Fast Totally Integrated Maximizer. It's kind of a combination of the other types of maximizer and the medical kit. Uh, it comes in two sizes, slim and husky. This is the slim. Notice it has a place for a patch. I have that fight in the shade. I forget who said that. I think it was like Teddy Roosevelt or something, maybe. Uh, like most of the VanQuest pouches, it does have a pocket in the front. It closes with Velcro. So you could put things in there if you needed to. And it kind of opens... Oh, a little Molly, one row, or two rows, actually. Uh, and webbing so you could attach it to a pack or something. It opens kind of like the medical pack does. And if you look at the way I have this organized, I have electronic stuff down here. I have uh, earbuds. These are the ones that come with the Apple phones. I've got uh, two lightning cables, one that's only a few inches long and one that's three feet long. And the same thing with the USB cables. I've got one that's only a few inches long and one that's uh, a little bit longer, maybe a foot long. In addition, admin flashlight. This is a 511 flashlight. This used to be my EDC light. Now it's in here. For EDC, I carry a much smaller flashlight. It's also 511. It's a very tiny one. It's really all I need. Uh, what else? A lot of this stuff, a lot of these things operate on batteries. I got some double A's and triple A batteries. I try not to buy anything anymore unless I can run it on double A AA or triple A batteries. It's just too hard to keep track of all the other batteries. Uh, pencil, pen, Sharpie. Right, nothing uh, special about any of that. Simple 3x5 pad. Not a right in the rain or anything. Got it at Staples. I got a like 10 for a dollar or something. It's very inexpensive. Also a moleskin little notebook lined paper with some paper clips. And here's my backup battery for the phone. It's Anchor. It's shaped like a tube of lipstick. It's, a, it's like 5,000 milliamp hours, I believe. It'll charge the phone twice, maybe. Uh, the last time I used it, my phone was just about on zero. 
and it was fully charged in about a half an hour. So a very useful item. So these are my electronics and administrative items. So the uh, last pouch in this configuration that I use on uh, certain day hikes, short ones, is uh, what I would call tools. You'll see what I mean when I get into it. This is another VanQuest pouch. It's called the EDC Maximizer and it comes in three sizes, slim, husky, and huge. And this is the husky. This is the mid size. Again, a place for a patch. Uh, the Velcro pocket. Molly attachments, so you could strap it to your pack. More attachments here. I, if someone has an idea of what to do with these, would you please, in the comments, say so? I fail to see what this can do, but, you know, that's just me. Let's go inside. Oh, by the way, all these pouches come in black, coyote tan, and wolf gray, right? And this is the coyote tan, naturally. So what do I have in here? Uh, on this side, I have Leatherman. This is the Leatherman OHT. OHT stands for one-handed tool. I can't get it to open with one hand. Sorry. I can't get it to open with two. There we go. I know some people are very good at this. They just flip it and it opens. Uh, mine never did that. Uh, this has gotten mixed reviews if you look at some uh, other YouTube videos. I think it's pretty neat. It's on the heavy side. I think it's eight ounces. So that's the biggest knock on it, that it is kind of kind of heavy. But it's got great pliers um, and all the, the basic stuff. Nothing uh, outrageous. Uh, but it's not, it's not bad. And because sometimes you have to be afraid of getting lost, compass. Now, I also have a compass app on my phone, but, you know, sometimes you don't want to use the phone up if you don't have to. So uh, this little compass uh, help out. Normally, when I go on the short hikes, there are places I've been before, I know where I'm going. It's hard to get lost. And it's in urban locations. If you do get lost, you're going to be tripping over people in a matter of minutes. So it's not a problem. So that's it on this side. Uh, over here we have a big lighter. Doubt I'll ever need it, but it's there just in case. Uh, spork. Now, since I'm not really eating food other than bars, I, I guess I really don't need this. But, I mean, it only weighs, what, a fraction of an ounce? Backup knife. My main EDC knife that I carry with me all the time. My uh, 511 Warn. I've been carrying this knife now for about a year. Love it. Just the right size. For me. But for backup, I have this Kershaw. I, mean, I have other knives. But I have this Kershaw Clash. This is also a nice knife small right but nice does the job now fixed blade knife you saw the one I have on the outside of the bag I have the Mora I carry this small one this is really a neck knife and that's what the, this whole setup is for this is a C uh, a uh, CRKT minimalist Right. And this comes in a few different versions, different blades. But this is a cool little knife. I cannot, you know, again, I'm in New York. I live in New York most of the time. Uh, when I go on these short hikes, it's, uh, 
I have a spare afternoon or something. Um, in New York, you cannot... If you do carry a knife, it has to be concealed. So wearing a neck knife, it's not concealed. I don't feel like spending the night in a police station for carrying a knife that's got an inch blade on it. Here are some molly sticks. These are VanQuest molly sticks. Earlier you saw I carry the uh, isopod. And uh, if I had to attach it to the bag, I have the uh, molly sticks to do that. And last but not least, oops, some zip ties. There are 10 of them here, and I put a little electrical tape around them so they don't fly around all over the inside of the bag. And if nature calls, the one white trolleys. Uh, again, these are, you can get these from the Dollar Shave Club. Um, pretty effective, but uh, let's hope you don't have to use it. So that's everything in my tools module. And the four modules again, first aid kit, personal items, electronics and admin, and tools. All right, well, I'll be back in a minute to summarize. So on shorter day hikes, I like to take the VanQuest Trident 20 and I have it set up with these modules. One for first aid, one for personal items, one for administrative items and for electrical items like cables and battery chargers, and the last one for tools. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Any suggestions I would appreciate. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Peace out.